Hello, Slash. My name is YB, a founder and CEO of Genesis Lab. Do you remember TARS robot from the Interstellar movie? What makes TARS special is its reading emotion capability in order to fully understand, communicate with humans. We at Genesis Lab makes this possible. We define emotion recognition technology in three steps. First, visual information is the most rich source to understand emotions. So we use facial expressions. Then what? We use voice emotion recognition because during the conversation, mouth may move. And other sensors like heartbeats, brainwaves, this will eventually increase the accuracy. And all of this will be fused with the contextual data in order to fully understand emotions, just like what we do in our subconsciousness. There are lots of business opportunities with this technology. And we are trying to find something very impactful for, for the business and for the society. So we are developing a product called Genesis Drive that uses our technology that detects drowsiness, distractions, and negative emotions of drivers, fast and accurate. For drowsiness, we use eye blink frequency, and we use eye closure rate. So if you drive, and if you are fighting for a sleep, your frequency increases, and of course you cannot drive with your closed eyes. And for distractions, we use head poses. Uh, in order to, uh, if you look at look outside of certain range, then it gives you an alarm. If you look at something for too long, that gives you an alarm. And with the negative emotions, we capture anger, disgusted, and screaming faces. Often this relates to the uh, road rages. So we can use that features to generate driving score, which can be accessed by the transportation and insurance companies later. We also have developed a product called Genesis Insight, this is a non-verbal behavior analysis tool for job seekers to measure and improve their communication skills. At the same time, we are gathering our data, video conversational data for our voice emotion recognition. All of this was possible because of the fortunate structure we had from the beginning. We were able to raise seeds fund from the Bluepoint Partners, one of the leading tech investors in Korea, and we've secured two R&D funds from Korean government agencies that allowed us to work, uh, co-research with KAIST institutions. We are two professors and 10 uh, graduate students are working, researching on our core technologies together with us. We have great founders, all are strong tech-based backgrounds, and we have startup experiences too. Uh, I founded a, a company called Jandi, the largest SaaS-based enterprise messengers in Korea and Taiwan, and we are looking to raise $2 million. Uh, this will be going to the research, recruiting, and data acquisitions. Thank you, right. Genesis Lab, and we are moving to the questions. All right, so, so your first product is Drive. Yes. Uh, it sounds like that the, the exit, exit option is for car manufacturers and, and car technologies. What other products you have in pipeline? Uh, for, for, for facial detection, emotion detection. So. Oh, yes. So this has a full of potentials. But right now, we are focusing on the Genesis Drive. But later on, the, the one that I showed you, this Genesis Insight, this can be uh, extended to the video interview market, where we can provide the tools for job seekers to train themselves. And at the same time, we give analysis to the uh, B2B side. But so your business model, if I understood it correctly, was really honestly that you give that data to accident uh, and, and government authorities. I'm not sure I would like that. I mean, uh, isn't that a bit scary to, to, to think that someone is, is watching you while you drive and, and, and will get you nailed after you do an accident or something? So it won't be the actual like, the images, but however, it will be the, the data scores, the how many drowsiness you've been, uh, how many you were sleeping in the driving sessions, etc. So they will be sent to the uh, uh, transportation and insurance companies but they need to control their drivers. Otherwise, their insurance fees, when, when they, whenever there's an accident, the huge fees. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in, in terms of, so are, are you, will you become a platform company or will you become a verticalized company launching app by app or application, yeah, app, application by application? 
Uh, no, we, we are concentrating on the Genesis Drive. Okay. Yes, because it's the first stage of our tech roadmap that maximizes the use of facial expression detections. Okay. Yes. That's right now, we are researching on the voice emotion recognition. So when time comes, there will be a product for that too. But do you do, you, do, you, do, you do the research yourselves? Yes, we have the uh, doctors and uh, but are, engineers. Are, is it like based on the Paul Ekman research for facial recognition, or you're, you're doing your own base, so, base ground research on, yes. on that? So the institution is always um, at the advanced side, where we do research ourselves, we do engineer ourselves, but they are the ones that does very far end of the uh, research. So Got we are it. using those research to engineer ourselves cool. too. And, and obviously autonomous driving is coming kind of soon. And, and until that will happen, y you might need Genesis Drive. But when autonomy, full autonomy happens, you won't need it. So I guess you will be moving into other verticals. Uh, no, we can hook up with the, um, one of the manuf car manufacturers of course, um, yeah, uh -huh. at the end of the day. I, I just mean that when, when the cars will be driving themselves, you, don't, you, you can sleep how much you want. But if you think... But that's in 15, 20 years, whatever. Yeah, uh, no, no. I think self-driving <laughs> industry is coming fast. But if you look at it, inside the car is going to be more important than ever. Because you, you're not going to drive. You'll be sitting doing something else. That means the car needs to understand, read emotions, intentions of the people inside. There will be the huge technology. How, how much do you know about car manufacturers' uh, own innovations in this area? I mean, <clears throat> there must be some. And in Korea, you have a couple of big yes. ones. Um, so the driver behavior analysis, I think uh, there are some people in the world, like Nauto or uh, Israel company. However, um, this uh, analysis in, of the drivers is very tough. Usually what they do is look outside of the car. The ADAS system is usually the outside of the car, but by analyzing the inside, is, there are very few companies. Okay. And uh, that will be it. Thank you, Genesis Lab. We have right, to guys, move on. See you at the top Let's 10, give a right? big hand and welcome.